Here is the canvas for the day. We've got a beautiful redbud tree over here. We have an oak and everything in between we are going to pull out and leave for transplant later. All of this native perennial gardening through here, you can see we've got some bunch of sedges. We've got coneflower, black-eyed Susan, all kinds of good stuff in here that we are going to pull out, go ahead and get it back down to bare dirt. And our reservoir will sit right around in here. We'll start the waterfalls up over there about four feet off of the house or off of the garage back here, eh, five feet, about a 14 inch tall waterfall and it'll just twist and turn and drop down into the reservoir there like i said we've got a two to five pump we're going to do a very slow moving babbly brook style waterfall it's all granite and gravel we are also going to pull up all of this mulch in through here and continue that gravel all the way out on to this side of this stepper pathway and put all of those in that three eighths to three quarter red flint that we always use we are going to build a pondless waterfall the easiest way to learn something is to teach it we are rocking and rolling on this pond What is up everybody, Chris from Team Aquascape, myself and Juan and some special guests, Lee Frisbee and the rest of his team from Rochester, New York are gonna be out here building an incredible bird-loving pondless waterfall today here in Berwyn, Illinois, which is a near west suburb of Chicago. Behind me is a location of that stream that we talked about. It's gonna be six small aqua blocks, 15 by 20 liner, two to five pump, 25 feet of plumbing and some lights. And we are going to knock this thing out of the park in one day. Weather's a little bit drizzly around here so first things first is we're gonna go ahead and clear our canvas start moving some dirt back and then start getting the reservoir dug and get our aqua blocks liner in and then go ahead and start rocking so first things first get all these plants out she's got some buckets over here that we are going to use to get all of them out of there and then to hold on to them for the day and then we will go ahead and start laying out our reservoir get that dug and then start bringing dirt back So we are only about half an hour into the project for the day. We've already got everything ripped out of here. We laid out our reservoir. This is where our six small aqua blocks are gonna go. We're throwing all that dirt right up behind Steve. We're gonna build ourselves a little bit more of a retaining wall to the right of that, as well as to the left, giving us a place to put all that dirt. And then we'll feather that stuff down very nicely and gradually coming underneath this red bud and then back over here to the left. Waterfalls will start somewhere back over there, four feet off of the sidewalk. Just again, that, that one single drop, then bird love stream coming all the way up and through here. All right, excavation is complete. Now it's time to get the fabric liner, kind of clean up just some of the little chunks of root, that kind of stuff, but we are good to go. So we'll do fabric, liner, more fabric, pump vault, and then we'll fill around that, fill that void space, large cobble or large gravel or small cobbles, and then put our aqua blocks in, and then we're gonna backfill with gravel around these aqua blocks today, rather than folding that liner back, give us that much more water volume as well, but it'll just make things easier when doing a lot of these edges and that kind of stuff. So just see you guys out there, an idea of where what the next step is that's where we're headed all right so here we are we are excavating out the pooling area and ledge for i guess the top waterfall is going to dump in so this waterfall is going to start up over here dump this way into this pooling area twist and turn into the bottom waterfalls that discharges down into the basin so what we're going to try and do here in this pool once we fold that liner back is really manipulate the shape do some of these bird friendly edges where it's just gravel and we take the water out as far as we can and really really slow that water down making it nice and easy for those birds to enjoy the stream but also give her visual interest from the house over there so one's just about wrapped up with that we're gonna throw some fabric down and then pull the liner back and go ahead and continue rock It is the end of the day, folks. We managed to make it through the rain, get everything done at a reasonable hour. Lee, his group of guys, Juan, did a fantastic job along with myself on bringing this backyard space to life. And it looks absolutely incredible. Let me turn the camera around and show you the work of art for the day. How awesome does that look? 
So we've got an SLD 2,000 to 5,000 gallon per hour pump, a 12 inch spillway located way back up over there, but just that twisting, turning, just looks absolutely incredible. We've got our pump vault located underneath the full rock lid, which you typically see with skimmers, but today we decided to use that for the pump vault to make it easy for Candace, the homeowner, to access. It's accented by this really cool stepper pathway in through here, but I love this gravel beach area back behind this main waterfalls. Slow moving, I love the split waterfall that Juan pulled off up there. It just turned out absolutely stunning. And then back up in here is where you could see the water bubbling up. That's where our 12 inch spillway is hidden. I love the use of the big and the small gravel. You've got some big gravel up there just to change up edge treatments. You've got a little bit over there, but then you have this small gravel edge all in through here. We did a bib liner over the top of some of the aqua blocks to give that pooling effect. And then it discharges down right over into here. So that'll be the collection area, the catchment area for all the debris that's going to fall from all the overstory trees. But not bad for 24 total man hours. It turned out absolutely stunning. So I know this was a quick video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the transformation back here. It's nice to get these one day quick projects. They're in and out, they're instant gratification for us. We have so much fun doing them and it's kind of like building a model when we're doing this. So if you have any questions on how the build was constructed, let us know in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Adios. Uh -huh.